this is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the Rhodia Premium Pad. It's a top staple bound pad, and I'm going to be comparing its features to the features of the Rhodia Ice Pad. Now, the Rhodia Premium Pad comes in cover colors similar to the standard Rhodia notepads. It comes in either black with orange writing or orange with black writing. Now, a difference between this and the standard pads is this has got almost a, a rubberized type feel. It's, a, it's an interesting feeling, soft touch cover. It's very matte. It's, the black is a very dark black. It really absorbs the light. It's an interesting look and feel. Now, it's still a, just a cardstock cover. The front and back covers are cardstock. But the back also has a cardboard back cover to give it some rigidity. Now these are top staple bound. Um, the cover, the front cover has the is pre-creased to make it a nice crisp fold whenever you fold the cover back on the notepad. Now you notice another difference. I'm probably going to have to block some of the natural sunlight coming in so you can see this. This one's more of an off-white. It's got a yellow tint to it, a cream color, where the ice pad is just a nice bright white. Now, both of these come... I take that back. The ice pad comes in quad-ruled, or what I call graph paper, and line ruled. I'm not sure about the premium pad. It may only come in line ruled. I'm, I think maybe it does. But both of these appear to have the the ruling is a, a, a gray instead of the blue that you see on the standard notepads. Now, I said in a previous video that I like to use this for disposable notes. I use it for rough drafts when I'm done with it. The pads have a nice perforation that tears cleanly every time. I just rip it out and throw it away. This cream colored paper, I like it for notes that I'm going to be referring back to if I'm going to be rereading the notes. Uh, this cream color is nice and easy on the eyes and it's pleasant to go back and reread. So I'm using this. Probably I'll put this pad in a portfolio that I have and I'll still tear the notes out, but I've got little pockets in the portfolio that I can keep my notes in. Now, another difference is the paper quality. The ice pad comes with 80 sheets of 80 gram per square meter paper, whereas the premium pad comes with 70 sheets of 90 gram per square meter paper. So it comes with 10 sheets less, but it's a, a slightly thicker paper. And I don't know, I should have tested this ahead of time. I don't know if it's in my head that I know which one is which, but there, there's not, I'll, I'll say this, there's not a significant difference to the feel of the paper. So if you're worried about, if you don't like thick, heavy paper, um, you don't have to worry about it. They feel very similar. Now, I didn't show this in my previous video when I did the writing sample. I didn't flip it over and let you see the back. No bleed through. Look at that, nice. And let me fold this over so I'll have a, a white background so that you can see very little, hardly any show through. So the thinner 80 GSM paper was did great with fountain pens, gel pens. It's smooth enough that writing on it with pencils is pleasant. Uh, the dry time with my fountain pens was not bad, about three seconds. Took a little bit longer with gel pens. The paper's kind of ink resistant, so it'll take a little while for gel pens to dry. But I'm going to do 
the same writing test on the premium pad. I'm going to use my same selection of pens and pencils. I'll zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to start with the Pilot Petite 1. This is a fine nib. This feels similar, which that's no surprise, feels similar to the um, ice pad. Very smooth paper. This is a Platinum Preppy. It's also a fine nib. With cream colored paper, sometimes it alters the look of your ink. So generally I prefer black ink on uh, cream colored paper like this. This is a Lamy Studio with a extra fine 14K nib. And I've got the uh, gel pen. And I've got a couple of my favorite pencils. The Zebra Del Guard. Now again, this is not the lead that came in it. This is it's a point seven, and this is two B lead, so it's a little bit darker than what would come in the pencil. And this is the Twisby Precision. A 0 0.5. Now, I don't know. It it may just be in my head. I'll test this in just a minute. I'll compare the two. But I get the sensation that this paper is a little bit softer, meaning that the as I press down with these finer pencil leads, you can feel it, the lead kind of sinking into the paper. I don't know. It, it's got a softer feel. Well, I can't feel it pressing through to the other side. I don't know. I'll compare the two in just a minute. Okay. And I'm going to do the dry time test. I'm going to compare the dry time of a gel pen to the fountain pen to one of the fountain pens. Okay, this is the gel pen. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it looks like it took about five seconds for that to dry. Let's try to make the test fair. Let's use the same pen we used on the ice pad, the petite one. Five, four, three, two, one. And again, it took about three seconds. It looks like, I think this paper might, it's thicker, but it might be a little more absorbent also. Because if we compare these two, the on the gel pen, the five smeared just a touch. And on the fountain pen, the three smeared just a little. Whereas on these two, 
The 5 didn't smear at all on the gel pen and on the fountain pen the 3 didn't smear at all. So this paper, even though it's a little bit thicker, it may be a little more absorbent and that would make sense. On the pencils, it just felt a little softer. Let me, I'm going to use the smaller of the two. Let me see if I can feel a difference. And now the ice pad. Yeah. And you can you can hear a difference in the sound. This, the ice pad, the paper is more dense. It's it's a harder paper and on the premium paper it's just a little bit softer. Now, let's see if there was any bleeding through or show through. No. Absolutely none. Even less show through because the paper's thicker. I think less show through. Let me compare that now that I've folded the back over. Yeah, I think so. Slightly less show through because the paper's slightly thicker, but the paper is a little bit softer which when you're using it with fountain pens, your fountain pens are still nice and smooth, but um, it's absorbing a little bit of the ink, so it's drying faster. But with pencils, it's not as pleasant to use. So I think I'm gonna stick with probably darker colored fountain pens because the paper's cream colored. Most likely, I'll be using black fountain pens with this, and with the ice pad, fountain pens or pencils. I, I really like using pencils on this. All right, that was interesting. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.